we are solving an absolute value inequality. This is the absolute value of 3x plus 1 is greater than 5. For this to be true, either 3x plus 1 must be less than negative 5, or 3x plus 1 must be greater than 5, so that the absolute value is actually greater than 5. Now you will then solve each of these inequalities. So let's solve them. Here I'll subtract 1 from both sides. If I, if I subtract 1 from the left side, I'll have 3x. If I subtract 1 from the right side, I'll have negative 6. Then how do I finish solving? I'll divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 3. I'm dividing by a positive number so I don't change the direction of the arrow or the inequality symbol. And I'll have x is less than negative 2. Or here, I'll subtract 1 from both sides, so I'll have 3x is greater than, if I subtract 1 on the left side, I have 3x. If I subtract 1 on the right side, 5 minus 1 is 4. Divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 3. So, or x is greater than 4 thirds. These are solutions. Any number less than negative 2 is a solution, or any number greater than 4 thirds is a solution. I'm going to write this in interval notation, so let's look once again at the graph, because I think it helps. Here's negative 2, less than, so I'll have a parenthesis, and I will shade to the left. Here is 4 thirds, somewhere to the right of negative 2, parenthesis, and I will shade to the right. Now let's write down what we have, and we'll write down the shading from left to right. So from left to right, here I have negative infinity to negative 2, parenthesis, and then I don't have shading here, so I'll put union, and then the shading starts again at 4 thirds, and it goes all the way to infinity. So negative infinity to negative 2 union 4 thirds to infinity. There's my solution set in interval notation.